I bet many of you can relate to this. Growing up when I was playing sports, my coaches would always tell me when I was tired and fatigued to put my hands on my head like this and take deep breaths to help best recover from fatigue. Well, as it turns out, that's kind of a load of BS and I'm gonna show you why and what to do instead. There was a study carried out that compared hands on head to hands on knees recovery. And what they found was the hands on knees recovery was objectively better for the goal of bringing in more oxygen and allowing the body to get into a more recovered state more quickly. The reason why hands on the head is not an optimal recovery posture is because when we do that, our rib cage flares up. These low ribs pop up and this is elevating our rib cage. So it does make it easier to take air into the lowest sections of our rib cage. But the issue is, is that this is not where we have the most ability to expand and bring in air. We have certain cavities within our trunk called our mediastinal cavities. And in part, these help effectively represent how much area we have for expansion when we breathe in. Notice how much larger the posterior cavity is relative to the anterior. That's a pretty big difference. Have you ever noticed that when you're truly, truly gassed doing something that's taxing and exercise, you naturally want to put your hands on your knees. This is our body's natural response and this is totally normal because what that's doing is that's getting us into more of a flexed position like this, which is creating an opening of the back mediastinal cavity. Not only that, that, but getting into this position right here kind of elevates our rib cage a little bit. And what that's effectively doing is it's unweighing our rib cage. It's making it a little bit easier for us to not have as much gravity pushing down on our rib cage. By placing our hands on our knees and slightly elevating the rib cage, we're essentially making it lighter. And therefore gravity isn't pushing down on it as much and it's making it easier to expand our rib cage, especially in the back and in the upper larger superior section of it. That's opposed to doing hands on the head, which again is elevating the rib cage and it's only making it really easier to breathe into here. This is why most people naturally don't really like being in this position. It feels weird and slightly uncomfortable. Because we're raising our hands onto our head and we're elevating the rib cage, this is also creating a little bit more extension within the back right here. This is actually closing off the back rib cage and making it harder for us to expand that area. That's actually counterintuitive to the goal. Now the common counter argument that I want to address for this is that many sport coaches would say hands on head promotes strength and an upright posture and it displays to your opponent that you're still upright whereas hands on knees promotes a lot of potential signs of fatigue and or weakness. Honestly to me that's a pretty lame excuse to objectively recover less effectively and there's a lot of other things that go into the interpretation of how our opponent is is perceiving us. Case in point, why don't you talk to these guys right here about how they're recovering. I don't know about you, but I'd rather recover better and know that I'm much more likely better prepared for whatever's coming next rather than just present myself in a slightly more alpha way. Anyway, the point is, is that our body kind of intuitively knows what's best. Hands on the knees is better for recovery. Taking deep nasal inhalations through this is also an effective strategy. Depending on how tired you are, you will ultimately need to mouth breathe a little bit, but generally speaking, I like to recommend nasal breathing for as much or as long as you can. Obviously at some point that shift occurs, but the deeper nasal inhalations that we can take up to a certain point, the better. So that's a good combination for this position.